entrance exam done and we have passed it hopefully now we we were kind of uh, did we pass it actually we don't know kafka did clutch at the end he did look cool for everyone else but i'm not sure if he passed maybe he did we'll have to see about that now what's really interesting is the talking sentient kaiju that showed up out of nowhere resurrected people was in the bathroom at the end and then took on the form of the janitor crew so we have kaijus now that can talk that can disguise themselves as humans now they're not really too good well it depends it, maybe they're like slowly like maybe they're learning really fast and they'll be able to you know blend in with the humans but like this is getting super fucking dangerous does this count as kaiju 9 is this perhaps like a existing kaiju i'm not really sure let's begin today's reaction though that's one way to start the episode shinomiya screams so far, he's beat everything with one punch. When is it gonna take time for two punches? And then we have the Yaoi ship here. He's peeling an apple for him. A oh, man you can count on, huh? He's pretty dependable, right? <laughs> Ichikawa, <laughs> Kafka. No, it's no, 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 no. It's it's the captain. It's the the main captain, and him is the ship. Ichikawa and Kim is a meme yaoi ship, and Shinomiya and him, it's supposed to be like big daddy. D d d d head pats, head pats, head pats. Back to the janitor squad. No? Yeah? Okay, we're waiting for the results of the test. Maybe he's having second thoughts. Letters! There's no way they fail. The story can't continue if they fail, they have to pass. If Kafka failed, I will eat my toenails. I will gift 1,000 subs if Kafka fails. Please! Please! I might have went too hard there. Please! What is it? No, he's going to show up in a suit. He's going to show up in a night. No, 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 no. I was kind of scared. What? 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 Let it cook. Let it cook. Let it cook. Wait, wait, wait. Let it cook. Oh, no, no, it's a lolly. It's a lolly. No, not the lolly. It's a twin tails. Oh, where is he? Where's Kafka? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. These two? Wait, no. There's also another dude, right? I think it's this guy in front. No, there's another guy that was like number one prospect. Maybe it was that guy. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'll aim for number one. Nah, you can aim for number two. Because, like, this guy is basically saying he's already given up on the race to number one because Shinomiya exists, right? She's too fucking OP. But the blondie here is like, nah, I still got it. Is he talking big? Is he going to be legit? I hope that he is. Be nice to have other supporting characters that's actually super hype. It's Kawa. Where's the old dude? Where's the old son, dude? Furuhashi Iharu. That's a fun name to say. Furuhashi. First name basis already? That's lewd? Yeah, where is Osan? What do you mean? No, I still haven't lost it. It's not confirmed. It's not confirmed. He's gonna show up. There's no shot Kafka doesn't make it into the force. No shot. The woman that everyone has their sights on. Where's Kafka? Okay. Even that term was so militaristic. I'm just gonna assume that, like, based on the designs, if anyone doesn't have colored hair, they are cannon fodder. Like, all these people here, cannon fodder. Blue hair guy in the back, probably kind of important. But, like, every one of these other people that seems like copy pasted NPCs, probably cannon fodder. Unless they have colorful hair. That's, like, how it works in anime. Mina doesn't count. Mina, sometimes there, there needs to be one, like, jet black hair waifu, too. New cohort of 27. Plus one, 28? Where's Kaiju 28? <laughs> But no! Because it's Kafka that did it. It's Kafka. No, why are you guys going 07 in the chat for? No! No! We have. No! We need to let the show cook. There's no way Kafka doesn't join the force. No, 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 no. I will fucking open up the manga right now. Fuck you. 
I will open up the manga, go to some random chapter into the future, and we'll see Kafka wearing a fucking suit. I guarantee you, right? There has to be. <laughs> then I'm gonna spoil myself. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that either. Anyway, go, go back to the story. She's looking like this because she feels guilty that she's not the one that clutched, but it was rather Kafka. But Shinomi is the one that's taking credit. So she's feeling guilty here, right? At Mina's, you know, Mina's compliments. Where the fuck is he? <笑>いや、みつ。お、すみません。途中さんがで。ふふふふ。だヒーローショーズアブライ、だヒーローオーイショーズアブライ。ガッテン。What Look at the bluster though. Look at the bluster Shinomiya though. Amina sees Kafka of course. But no, 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 no. Maybe the vice captain like vouches. Maybe Mina vouches. He failed, but then the captain, the vice captain, is probably like, nah. Let's give him a special recommendation. <laughs> He's doing the lowest on everything. <laughs> there we go, vice captain. But he's funny. <laughs> wait, wait. What did Kafka do well? Uh. Kafka and Ichikawa, they were like providing um like strategies, like the weak spots, more knowledge, team support, utility, and they're funny. So that's why <laughs> comic really, <laughs> comic really, he is kind of comic. Yeah. Yeah, and he, and he funny too. Oh, we get to go to Vice Captain's Platoon. Nice. There's Cadet to Full Officer. Look at that cat. This cat smile. One of the cool things right here is how all the top people in the room kind of respect Kafka, right? Ishinomi, of, of course, respects. He respects. So, like, everyone here? Is an actual officer? Is that true? But like, he's the only cadet. How does how 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 does that work? How 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 does that work? So everyone here is a full officer, and he's the only one that's like junior Winnie Hut Junior fucking cadet. That's, that's a little bit embarrassing. Mina still says nothing to him. <laughs> Okay. 9.8 9.8 Yeah, Shokun is the way to military way to kind of announce My people Kafka specifically it, That's why she's the fucking best She's literally saying like, I will carry you Put your faith in me I will be at the front and lead you to paradise. Actually confirm the strongest, right? <laughs> are, you, are you? You're supposed to think this in your head. We, in the, everyone heard that? Everyone heard that? <laughs> What's we gonna say? You can't say that shit out loud! Uh, 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 no, 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 childhood friend, guys! Childhood friend! Guys, but they don't know. Imagine hearing that shit. Some fucking random old man says this shit out loud. Only a cadet, by the way. Disrespected. Only if you sit on me, then I will do those hundred push-ups. Uh, Shinomiya looks a little bit disgusted right now. <laughs> Comic relief. Comic <laughs> relief. <laughs> Was that a smile? That's a smile. The tiniest of them all. But she actually acknowledged Kafka for once. And before she said it, she was always like, Kaf, and then she had to stop. And then she had to say, Hibi no Kafka, to be all professional, right? She acknowledged Kafka finally here. Even he realized it. Yeah, even he realized it. <laughs> he's, actually, he's actually doing push-ups, dude. Everyone's watching him. Yeah, 
is is he aware that Kafka could be the 9.8? Kaiju 8? Is he actually sus of him? It's not just comedic relief. Wait. So he's actually thinking that he is him, maybe. Mm opened his eyes the fucking brock kind of character that always closes his eyes opened it here okay he's super serious about this but beyond his comedic relief it's like kafka could be that kaiju 8 maybe <laughs> he did it <laughs> he actually did 100 and everyone wants the shinomiya is calling him out Fucking 16 year old fucking confessing to a 30 year old body. What are you, what are you fucking talking <laughs> For a love letter confession or a fight? What do you mean? <laughs> Bonnie's. Ah, oh, the secret. We gotta tell him. The fucking bug just like deep throated us for no reason. <laughs> yeah, how's that gonna work out? They need to somehow be okay with him being a kaiju. So like Mina's weapon in the beginning of that laser beam, is that a kaiju weapon? Some numbered kaijus, their bodies are used as parts for special weapons. Vice Captain, does he have kaiju weapons? Do like the upper echelon have like special weapons? <laughs> She's getting rizzed right now. Peaksundere, I'll kill you. Oh, would Kafka ever lose his, <laughs> you know, control? Maybe this is foreshadowing. Uh, training, training simulation. Yeah, squeeze that shit. Squeeze. 35. 18 is good. 18 is good. Okay, it's called growing fast. Amongst all the other elite people right over here, right? These color haired dudes, they're like really top of the top cohort. Reno right now, he's he's fucking popping off. Squeeze! Squeeze! It's good for growth of everybody. Yeah, I think that's anticipated, right? Who are you, bro? Oh? The, everyone is on the ground. This, this, this is a fundamental difference between Shinomi Kakuru and everyone else. Everyone is just like running on the ground. She is airborne. Every time, because like she can out, she's literally Spider Man. Like fucking Attack on Titan, fucking like an ODM gear, just like she's fucking just swinging around, just like running on fucking walls. 55? <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Both scores combined doesn't even come close to her. <laughs> These are pretty much the rising stars of the cohort. Why per he Listen, listen, listen. This is a hundred X growth. Do you understand the significance of one percent here? We're not thinking about the actual number of display, but what it was before and what it is now. 0.01% to 1% is 100x growth. This is insane. Someone needs to look out for this motherfucker. This guy's crazy. 1%, let's go. What do you do? Why, why are you... This actually looks kind of creepy. Three months! Oh no! We got a probation period. <laughs> fucking play basketball. You have a hard coach. They tell you to do these, you know, fucking, you know, lines. Fucking like, like a beep test or like a runs. And you tell them, oh man. And then you're like, oh yeah? One motherfucker speaks out? All right. Two times that shit. Anyone else want to complain? Three times that shit. <laughs> yes, we got a good group. They're all pushing each other. What is this bathhouse mural? It's like ancient, you know, Japan, but fighting kaiju back in the day. <laughs> Renna holds his ground. He is pretty buff. I mean, old man's got it. Like, look at him, bro. These are actual muscles. Wait, what? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. That's, that's, the, that's the beer gut belly as you get older. Pretty, and that's why he was facing this way too. 
That's why he was facing away and not the front, because he didn't want to show the fucking gut. <laughs> You're laughing too, Reno. Who is this? Damn, look at this dude. This dude's an actual game. Everyone jumped in the pool out of insecurity. Oh, he's a former military officer. That makes sense. Oh, it's been a while since I've done anything like this. You know what? Times like this is very rare, man. It's a magical moment that doesn't happen much often in life. But sometimes it happens in school, summer camps, different clubs, stuff like that. When you're gathered around like a new cohort of people achieving the same goals and you're just kind of like having fun in the beginning. These are rare moments. Mina? Mina Kafka scene. Oh. Oh, the blue hair person at the very bot, uh, far, far right during the, in the intro section. I thought it was like, dude, no, no, what's a girl? Okay, okay. Why is she, like, what is her suit output? What is she? Probably like fucking like 99 or something? 100? 200? We won't touch each other's muscles? Dude, that white tiger is so sick. Remember her cat died a long time ago, so she got a new cat. Yeah, everyone wants to show up for Mina. Whoa! Short hair Mina back in the day! That bangs! Okay, okay. <laughs> Every, it's just fucking Mina Sims, bro. But that's how important she is. Generation superhero. Mina. We're childhood friends. But by all, you know, metrics, usually childhood friends don't win in rom-coms. This is not a rom-com. So, like, this should be good news to you guys that he's a childhood friend. But, like, this could be the one time that a childhood friend wins. I don't know. We'll see about that. Yeah, it's a child of promise. It's, yeah. <laughs> They're also jealous, dude. Bunch of Mina Simps. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> They're just getting more data points on Mina. <laughs> Blue her girl again. <laughs> oh, we look so fucking red. She looks disappointed. You sim for Mina too. Not just JSDF, it's Jack DF. You know, this girl's kind of been the show in, in, in part of the group too. This girl over here, I thought she'd be like a uh, cannon fodder too. Montage song. The fuck? <laughs> the biggest sausage fest. What the fuck, bro? Is He's benching like three and a half fucking plates. If we're struggling with just one. I always fucking giga chat. White Tiger. This is an actual montage, yeah. Bro, you taking a shit? What are you doing? Let me hear you scream. Hey, yo. You want, you want me to scream? Are you sure about that? Ah! You asked, you asked for it. Bro, he asked like fucking six times. Let me hear you scream. They ain't grinding. Captain, vice captain. Getting your Z's, sleeping? But he's getting Z's in grades. Oh shit, story got out. Does Mina also know? Does Mina also know? Mm, maybe, I guess because he does stand beside her. That's true. Oh. What a nice guy. 9.8. I thought he might be like, are you Kaijin 8 or something? Oh, uh, it's like people dial the time, right? Because like right now it's all friendly and fun, but like people will die. I hope uh, I, I might have gotten a little bit too invested in some of the characters too. Because like imagine how many people have died over and over, right? The turnover rate of new people coming in, new people going out, right? The closer you get, the more like jaded, the more like cynical you become. Kaiju alert? 
You jinxed it. No, not Levi Squad. Everyone died in Levi Squad except Levi. And that's the episode. I might have made a, uh, I, I, I might have promised something I couldn't have keep immediately. But uh, hey, hey, he, he kind of did, you know, join the, join the team even though he didn't technically pass or something. We forget about that. I never said that. I never said that. Okay, what was the point of today's episode? Today's episode was basically getting the acceptance into the team even though we were a cadet that's not even a full officer. More training, seeing the other members to see, you know, who our closest, you know, cohort members are going to be. But again, just like how, you know, Hoshina Senpai said at the end, like, how many of these people are going to be dying in the first next couple episodes? Am I getting too, like, attached to these characters already? I just assumed that just because they had colored hair that they might survive. And hopefully that is the case. Hopefully some of the other no-name, you know, black-haired NPC types are just going to be that once that's going to be dying. But if one of these characters actually did die, like, would it be an impactful moment? I don't know. Maybe. Kind of sucks that we have to think about options like that, but that's probably going to happen. Now... Hoshina did invite Kafka to his platoon, not just because he thinks that he's a comedic relief, but like he thinks that he could be the run behind the 42.9.8. He thinks that he could be Kaiju 8. This is going to be very interesting. We are on a tight leash and we need to perform. But like last time we only got away because the surveillance drones were kind of offline in our proximity, meaning we could go into Kaiju mode. How many more opportunities like that are we going to have? The way that I see the story progressing is just like Attack on Titan, where in the beginning, Eden, you know, obviously gets those powers and the squad is kind of very wary of it and they kind of like experiment, but they're like, you know what, I think this could be a very good weapon if we know how to control it. So maybe we're going to have that kind of environment where people will vouch for, you know, um, basically Kafka and say, I think that the power justifies keeping him around rather than just killing him and then making him into a weapon. Also a cool thing to know that number of Kaijus have like specific special grade weapons that I'm sure that people like him and Mina uses. Also everyone simps over Mina. It's like Mina is the poster girl of Jack DF and basically she's been advertised out the fucking ass so every Every horny dude is just signing up, risking their fucking lives. Imagine this. How many people do you think have died because they were thirsty for Mina? Just think about that statistic. I think that's pretty funny. That's, that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.